This is the story of a small planet in space called Earth. For a typical Darwinian explanation of how life originated, Dr. Wells directed me toward this documentary. The chemical elements essential for life, hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen, were now in place. What was needed was a way of combining them. Perhaps the energy came from lightning. Whatever it was. Excuse me? Whatever it was, energy managed to arrange these chemical ingredients in just the right way. Whatever it was? I was hoping for something a little more scientific. The most popular idea has been that life emerged spontaneously from primordial soup. In 1953, Stanley Miller mixed water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen to simulate the early Earth's atmosphere. Then he ran electricity through it in an attempt to jumpstart life. It's alive. It's alive. It didn't work. While the initial results seem promising, 50 years later, most serious scientists have abandoned this approach in favor of alternate theories. Prominent Darwinist Michael Roos attempted to explain one of them to me. He wasn't kidding. How did we get from an inorganic world to the world of the cell? Well, one popular theory is that it might have started off on the backs of crystals. My crystal ball molecules piggybacked on the back of crystals forming and that this led to more and more complex but of course the nice thing about crystals is every now and then you get mistakes mutations and that this opens the way for natural selection but but at one point there was not a living thing yeah and then there was a living thing how did that happen well this is the i've just told you and i don't see any reason why you shouldn't go from very simple to more and more complex to more and more I complex. I don't either. I don't either, but I don't know how you get from mud to a living cell. That's my question. Yes, well, I've told you. I think it was on the back of crystals. Try one more time. On the backs of crystals. Of the backs of crystals is at least one hypothesis, yes. So, so that's your theory, and you think that is more likely and less far-fetched than intelligent design? I think it is. 